Hello, I'm Phil Ernest and I'm in Anaheim Hills, California to hike Santiago Park. To find the trailhead, exit Weir Canyon off the 91 freeway. Going south, turn right on Serrano Avenue, and then left on Hidden Canyon Road. At the end of the road, you'll have found the trailhead. Or you can simply enter Anaheim Mills Riding and Walking Trail on your GPS. Street parking is available in a quiet neighborhood. At the end of the road, you will see two trailheads. The one on your left is a short three-mile loop. The hike I will be doing today is on the right-hand side. At the trailhead, they have a sign welcoming you to Santiago Oaks Regional Park. The rules are clearly stated. Dogs are allowed but must be on leash at all times and they ask that you please stay on the trail. As you come to this fork in the road, stay on the right-hand side. If you like this type of content, please be sure to subscribe to the channel. I have a new video every week. To finish up on the rules of the park, no smoking, and they ask that you please do not disturb any of the wildlife or agriculture. On this particular morning, I started my hike at 7.30 with an early morning gloom. 11 years ago when I first took up hiking, Santiago Oaks Regional Park was the first park I ever hiked in. So, since we've been on lockdown due to the pandemic for the last few weeks and trails are starting to open up, I thought it would be appropriate for me to come out to this trail and see how it looks since I haven't been on it in several years. After hiking for about 25 minutes, I come to a fork in the trail. On the right is Anaheim Hills Trail, on the left is Deer Trail. I decide to stay on Anaheim Hills Trail and continue my hike. Mainly because Deer Trail has a lot of mountain bikers on that trail. Speaking of the mountain bikers, it seems that during the past few weeks, mountain bike sales have increased as people are looking for a new way to get out and work out since a lot of the gyms have been closed due to the pandemics. Thus, it's causing a lot more traffic on the trail. One of the things I wanted to mention is, there is an official park entrance. That is at 2145 North Windez Drive, Orange, California. There is a parking fee of $3 Monday through Friday and $5 Saturday and Sunday. On holidays, the price can go up to $7. You may wonder why would I want to pay for parking if I could park here for free? The reason is, on that side of the park, they have restrooms along with plenty of picnic tables. At this point, I've been hiking for about an hour and 15 minutes. Now I'm starting to encounter a lot more mountain bikes. Case in point, look at this lunatic speeding down the mountain with reckless abandon. So if you're gonna be on these trails and hiking, be sure to keep your head on a swivel at all times because these bicyclists are nuts. After two hours of hiking, I come to this fork in the road. So I'm going to take a right hand turn here on Coach Whip and go on this trail. Like I had said earlier, I haven't been on this trail in years, so I was pleasantly surprised to see a lot of signs posted of the trails. As you can see from this video, the bikers clearly outnumber the hikers on the trail this afternoon. As I was preparing for this video, I came upon this write-up from the OC Parks website, so I thought I would share it with you. Santiago Oaks Regional Park lies peacefully in East Orange alongside Santiago Creek. The 1,269-acre Santiago Oaks Regional Park is a nature's lover's paradise. This secluded refuge offers hikers, bikers, and equestrians the natural charm of mountain vistas, an orange grove, a meandering creek, and a mature forest of many different species of trees. 
wildlife abound, and a series of interconnecting trails leading through shady groves and to a lookout that features an awe-inspiring view of Orange and the surrounding foothills. That awe-inspiring view they were talking about is Robber's Roost. I will visit that toward the end of the hike. Notice this is why I said earlier, with bikers on the trail, keep your head on a swivel as I pull over to give this biker the right of way. This bridge is one of the new additions on the trail. Down below, it is currently dry, but when it rains, the bridge is a necessity. I've now been on the trail a little more than two and a half hours. As I come to this fork on the road, I will go right on Bumblebee Trail and start to make my ascend up the mountain and on out of the canyon. Mountain biking is a family activity for all ages, as this father helps his two young girls over the mountain. It's at this point of the hike where the trail becomes a T. I can either go left or go right. I'm going to go right and head to Robber's Roost so I can take in that awe-inspiring view of Orange and the surrounding foothills that the OC Parks website talked about. One of the things to have when you're hiking on a trail that you're unfamiliar with is a good hiking app. While this video is not sponsored by any hiking app in particular, the hiking app I use is Map My Hike. The app is free to download. One of the advantages of having an app is it shows you where you've been, so if you are worried about getting lost or being lost, just backtrack. Let me show you the importance of using hiking poles as they saved me from rolling my ankle right about there. If I would have fallen, the cactus would have caught me. After narrowly avoiding a disaster, it's onward and upward to Robber's Roost. As I'm making my ascend up the mountain, and it's later in the day, I'm noticing fewer and fewer mountain bikes on the trail, and that suits me just fine. I'm now about 30 minutes from Robber's Roost. And now one of the first shots of Robber's Roost comes into view on the hike. See that peak up there? That's where I'm heading. And here is a better shot of Robber's Roost as I zoom in on it. One of the things I found interesting as I'm approaching Robber's Roost is, see where that biker's at? Right about there is a gate and there are signs posted that beyond that gate is private property. Coincidentally, that's where Robber's Roost is at. At this point, I'm beyond that gate and ready to take the ascend up to Robber's Roost. So technically, at this point, I am trespassing. As I'm getting closer to Robber's Roost, I'd like to give you my overall impressions of Santiago Oaks Regional Park from a hiker's point of view. The area is nice with different forms of nature, the trails are well manicured and easy to follow. And there are a large variety of trails with different levels of difficulty. So those are the key things that make this a great place for a conditioning hike. However, the downside I found is there aren't any trees on the trail to give you shade if you want to take a break. And the park has been overrun with mountain bikers. So if you are a mountain biker, this is a great place for you. And now for that awe-inspiring view of Orange and the surrounding foothills. My time and distance for this hike at a relaxed pace was five and a half hours and I covered a little less than nine miles. During the course of my hike this afternoon, I continuously kept noticing something from a distance. And now I'm going to go take a closer look at it. And there it is, Old Glory blowing strongly in the wind. Several years ago when I used to do this hike, there was not a flag at this site. So I was excited to go take a closer look at it. If you like this video, please don't hesitate to give it a like. And if you like this type of content, please subscribe to this channel. I leave you now from high atop of Orange County with the sound of nature and the flag blowing in the wind. Thank you for watching.